Hey everyone. Um, sort of the first sub-assembly, uh, really the uh, cockpit, actually all the pieces that are required. There's kind of two ones that go together and then uh, two that will kind of go on in the back. Everything just fits so nicely. It's really well done. Um, it's just, just lovely. I, I have sanded off all of the little sprue edges, although there's not a lot. You know, in theory, it goes in here like this. That's but. What's funny is um, that's not a full-sized hatch, right? That's uh, if that's what's connecting to the next module, um, to the 172 scale. And from what we could, you know, what we can see, that's a that's a pretty pretty small <laughs> hatchway actually, um, and is not a um, is not a full-sized hatchway. So one of the things, as I mentioned, I do have the uh, the photo etch set. Um, for this kit and uh, one of the things that they they have in here is the capability of using um, this piece which um, it gives you a full-sized hatch so that if you can imagine that's going to go here um, and, and we'll have a doorway in uh, in behind it so um, we'll cut this piece out and uh, and then um, fold these over so that they're at 90s each of these so you can imagine it's going to have a little bit of a curve it's going to match this curve and it'll kind of lay over top of here and then in behind goes door number three currently the model doesn't it's a closed it's closed there's no um there's no detail uh inside the cockpit so the windows are not open it's kind of funny they they do give you the option to um to include in the actually in the stickers i found this kind of funny or not stickers the decals sorry um they do have the option to include, you know, you can see Koenig here and Alan, kind of you could put them in there, uh, literally decals, so that, um, you know, you could see see Koenig kind of looking over at Alan and Alan looking over at him. And, or you could have them with their the little uh, helmets on, Koenig and Alan with helmets on. So anyway, that's um, just kind of a, a, a funny option that I won't be doing. Um, what I'm going to be doing instead, of course, is uh, actually, uh, once again, um, using the uh, pair of graphics, and, and here's our little window frames down here. This is the top one, and then this is the bottom. Um, and uh, we'll be cutting out, I'll be cutting out uh, cutting out this section uh, on each side. So they actually make little windows. And then... Uh, of course, they, they give you a little bit in the paragraphics kit. They give you a little bit of um, uh, plastic to uh, fit in there, and we'll be cutting out a piece, two pieces there to go in behind there to give sort of the window. Um, and then, and then of course, inside, we actually have the detail. We have the back sort of um, plate that's kind of going to sit in here like that. And uh, it's going to... I'll paint that up as well. I've just been... Uh, uh, fine-tuning um, and sanding down the little remnants of any of the sprues just with some uh, good 320 uh, sandpaper and just kind of really gently just working them uh, patiently uh, whatever little bits are left it's important on some of these because they're actually going to be uh, key pieces like uh, these guys for instance are actually the frames that are going to go around uh, on here like that that we need them to look uh, like that. So it's they're really, really important. You can see um, uh, that we don't want to have any any sprue left over because we're going to be nice right up against uh, those seams in every case. So yeah, that's what I'm working on here at the moment. Um, is that, and then of course you can see I've been uh, cutting out the windows. Uh, I've just got out the Dremel and have just been uh, working my way kind of just patiently again on the low just kind of working uh, working that opening and getting it as close to the edges as I can um, I'm gonna ultimately uh, I, I probably won't be able to get exactly uh, down into every purpose you could actually see there when I actually put that on there that um, I'm really good actually on these two um, these two sides in fact that bottom one I might have actually gone maybe a little too low um, but uh, but no problem I mean it's um, uh, th that's why this will as long as there's enough for that to contact on it's uh, gonna look good there 
Um, I do definitely need to take more though on top. You can see uh, where I'm still not. I'm still seeing the uh, the plastic there. So that's uh, that part is uh, not quite there yet. But bottom looks really good. The bottom and this edge, really just lots of um, uh, lots of photo etch uh, work going on here. As you can see, um, just getting getting them all cleaned up and. Um, uh, getting them ready for I'm going to be uh, priming them uh, here uh, just in a little bit uh, tonight um, and getting them uh, that'll get them set up for uh, painting for the ones that don't need bending uh, the ones that need bending like this guy uh, and the chairs and this piece those those ones I'm going to do a bit of a kneeling on um, I'll probably do that tomorrow so just to actually have been doing a couple of the sub assemblies um, Main ones are the two hallway uh, pieces. Uh, these these attachments I've also kind of glued and been doing some sanding and uh, uh, just going to do some uh, additional some fill there now that I've got that done. But those are but these guys are um, kind of glued together and uh, are the first kind of sub assemblies that I'm going to be doing. Um, obviously painting. It. So as I mentioned, I'm going to do one of these uh, <clears throat> landing pods. I'm going to do the left left front as I say these were um, uh, put through uh, the wash and then left to dry overnight so they're ready to assemble here today. Still just doing a little bit of uh, finishing on uh, these pieces. So I've got the two, um, this is the bottom side, and just adding a little bit of um, uh, putties you can see uh, around those to just make sure they get nice edges. I have to be to do a bit of sanding here, and I wanted to make sure there's no uh, gaps there. So just a little bit there, I'll just sand these. I haven't sanded this all down yet, but um, so it's doing a bit more work. And same on this guy that's in the front one where you can see the little, I've got the green tape there underneath, so you, the windows. Uh, Eventually, I'll have my plexi going in there, but also same idea, just filling in the any gaps along the uh, inside edges, and then just uh, adding just a little bit uh, where necessary to just smooth out that top area there, so these will get sanded as, as well. As you might recall, when we glued them, <clears throat> we did our best to get you know pretty good seams, but there was a lot um, of seams there, uh, and so I've been just doing uh, same thing, same thing, just putty. Uh, sanding and just reputting where it's sunk down again and so I've just about got it now on this layer I think uh, really close um, to smooth on all of them so all four of them uh, have been uh, getting the same treatment now the cockpit uh, back wall you can see uh, yesterday I did do the first little bits of the black uh, parts that are um, on that uh, kind of facing um, and so I did uh, take that all off and uh, add the black and I'm really really happy with it so what I was going to do here is actually um, just kind of take this off uh, because I'm going to have to now the rest of this as you know actually is sort of a orangey red uh, and so I'm going to actually use uh, this color it's a uh, vermilion red but it's pretty orange it's a pretty good match I think uh, for the color that we saw uh, on these uh, on the on the to, to offset against the black there so that's the color will be um, I'll prep this uh, here as well a bit later today and um, get it kind of do the inverse masking here I'll mask off my black and um, and get ready to put in the um, put the red down in these spots where uh, where it's ready for that here this one again here
guys. I uh, wanted to update you with regards to the pilot figures that I'm going to be using in, um, in my Eagle. Uh, they're really all I was looking for is 1 to 72 um, scale seated figures, and I happened to find uh, this package at a local hobby store uh, for under $20 Canadian, which is just great. Um, and uh, what's excellent about this, it has a couple of seated figures that are kind of perfect here for what I need. Uh, this is going to become Alan. <laughs> this is going to be uh, uh, kind of Koenig. And uh, you can see what I'll really have to do here is just um, do a little bit, get out the scalpel here, and remove the face, the oxygen masks. And then it's just a matter of painting uh, yellow helmets, the nice orange jumper suits, some silver gloves. quick update on my little little pilots here um, so just added a couple more little pieces uh, made sure um, there's a little touch up on the flight suits just to make sure they're com got complete coverage there they're pretty much ready to go I did uh, have these painted and then I realized I needed to file that off because the I'm gonna be gluing their butts to these seats and so I need to have uh, some bare metal so that's been sanded off as well now, um, and uh, at the very end I'll sand off these guys' uh, rear ends as well, so that they can be stuck on there. Hey everyone, <clears throat> just um, doing a little bit of uh, finalizing my <laughs> color uh, for my eagle. Um, so I've you know, obviously done a lot of research, a kind of big decision in terms of the base color to use. Um, I, I think uh, it's pretty conclusive that uh, the you know, the color of the original uh, was that Ford Diamond White, um, which is a uh, something uh, that where I'm at, it's not uh, readily available. Um, but certainly the color codes for it are. Um, I know the uh, in the Encyclopedia dot com. We uh, looking it up. It's it's a really just an off off white. Um, a very very light color version of a, of a, a yellow a green um, uh, extremely light in fact uh, the uh, RGB codes FC FD F7 so that's just off of white um, and so um, one of the so the color I'm really going to use and I've done a bit of experimenting with this last night uh, but I'm kind of ready to actually kind of mix up a bottle here. I've got a couple of these in case um, I need, I'll probably need a couple to do the whole model, but to get started with this one, uh, it'll be easy enough to reproduce. I'm going to be taking the one one bottle, so um, uh, a third of an ounce here, um, which is, uh, I think each one of these is, um, what is that, 10 mils uh, in a bottle. And I'm going to be adding, um, I have a nice to me a uh, light green here sky what they call sky fx 21 um, which as you can see is just a really light version of the yellow green which that's a, the chartreuse that I'm that I usually would be using um, but I don't want to mix these um, these uh, US art supply with to me and so I'm gonna be using the white base and I don't have enough of this white to to use this otherwise I would um, but no problem. Uh, this is a just a light version of that. Um, as you can see, that's uh, you get get there by just adding some white uh, to get down to that color. So no 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 worries. Um, and in fact, in some ways, that's a little bit of a comfort in that I can add a single drop of this and just see just how green does that turn a bottle. Um, and then I'll also be adding um, a drop of um, the flat aluminum XF16 just to give it a little bit of sheen. Uh, I've already pre-mixed both of these, so they're both um, they're both ready uh, to be um, to be working with here. Just want to see. Okay, yeah. There 
here we go, one drop. So I want to start. One drop of the green. Doesn't look like much, but it doesn't take much to really change a color. Yeah, you can see. Look at that, hey? 200 drops of white in there. And that one drop, and boy, that's no longer white. Amazing. But that's that's the color. That is the diamond. Diamond white is a, is a green or very very light green color. So and that's what we just got here. Yeah, you can see that difference. Look at those side by side. I don't know how well you can see it with this here. Let's just see. So that's got our green in there now, and uh, yeah, it's it's noticeable. There we go. A drop of silver is now in there. Wow, it really gives it that. Yeah, you get a little bit of luster there suddenly. I'd used, uh, this is actually uh, uh, aluminum uh, to me, uh, C flat aluminum XF16. Um, so it just gives it just that little, very silver color, obviously. Um, what I like about this one is the, it's a very fine paint. It doesn't, some of the Tamiya metallic silvers can be very, um, have big grains in them, whereas this doesn't, so kind of appealing for that reason. Hey guys, so I actually, just off screen, ended up adding one more drop of, um, the XF21 green. So I've ended up with, uh, that color. That's my base, um... 10, 10 mil white, two drops of X21, XF21, and uh, one drop of XF16. Uh, we'll see how it looks uh, on the model, um, and um, you can go from there. Uh, so just uh, still working on the back uh, cockpit wall, and uh, it's really coming along. I'm really happy with uh, it. As you can see, I just finished the white panels there tonight, um, and now I'm just taping off... Uh, for the last little bits here, the few of these last spots are um, black panels. So this one, this one, and then this one here. I ended up with there. I did end up uh, using um, the wooden uh, deck tan, so XF78. I thought it worked uh, really well. Just the right, um, just that right shade where it's truly, uh, you know, sort of brown uh, tan looking in most lights. But even in this light uh, right now that I'm looking from this angle, it does have that ever so slight kind of pink tinge to it, which is uh, very true of the actual um, production set, uh, where we had a very similar result. Sometimes look quite pink, actually, um, which which some tans can do, and this one uh, does capture that a little bit. So more in the red tan than the, the sort of the gray tan. So we're just going to um, take off some of this uh, tape here, and we can just see how this uh, turned out. It. So yeah, it looks uh, looks great. Um, you can see that. Let me just zoom in there a little. You can see the nice um, lines that we got on our the new little black panels, and then that big uh, panel with the little blocks in there. I did uh, get out the black <laughs> black paint. Um, I and for and act actually just ended up using to me as. Uh, XF1, so um, just their regular black, um, flat black, and so uh, first one was uh, the roof there, you can see my thumbprint holding it there, um, so just uh, spraying in the windows there uh, on the sort of the triple, the triple panes um, on those top windows, and then the frames are already in there, remember I've got my, I um, uh, already have the uh, little photo etch, uh, pieces already inserted in there so I've got the uh, little bit of relief there and then I'll be just uh, putting in the, the little stickers there and uh, repainting this all uh, or getting another probably couple coats of my diamond white version uh, that I'm using for my base the um, nose cone um, parts so the black obviously in the top and the bottom uh, 
have those sort of window and bottom opening sections um, and then I'll just tape these off uh, the black sections as well and then again get that all with uh, some white paint that hey guys um, so just uh, busy as you know um, I think I showed the black that I put down last night and so um, tonight I've just been busy putting in uh, some of the masking here so obviously done the little windows here um, that are uh, in the main uh, cargo module here um, and uh, so just um, I've laid those in and then kind of just making sure uh, that the edges are kind of nice nice down in there um, so they I obviously have the pair graphics uh, the metal frames and then these are the the vinyl uh, insets there are actually the vinyl set came as well uh, with little frames here um, that I could have used uh, to just give a little bit of that relief and they, they would have stayed in there and given a little bit of um, a little bit of that same effect uh, but because I'm using the pair graphics I'm uh, just laying in the inside the window pieces here I've spent a fair bit of time same thing um, we've got the the masks here that I've laid in and then really spent a lot of time um, on the actual kind of window sections to get the exact same sized uh, framing this one obviously I can't uh, the the bottom the only reason they're kind of sticking in there a bit is that that, that of course that bottom is uh, open and my windows are not I've opened them up uh, because I'm going to be putting uh, windows there and uh, lighting inside and then of course my back my back wall so uh, but I think I've got those pretty much perfect there now and uh, I've been just making sure the masking is um, nice in there so that's going to be ready for our white paint um, and uh, that way it'll leave the black where obviously where I'm masking off that's where the black sting and uh, I've just finished this um, this shoulder pod um, with the engine thruster masks and then the landing gear masks on that one and I'm just uh, I've done the thrusters uh, on all four and I was just working on the just working on the um, landing actual landing pad uh, masks as well so I just thought I'd uh, just record a little bit of that Lastly, I did uh, used um, the Vallejo uh, shiny black, um, shiny black here to um, get that. Make sure that's not there. Uh, shiny black. Have uh, this one, gloss surface primer. Um, this is the recommended uh, primer. Um, for our uh, the aluminum that we're going to be laying down here um, that we'll be using on all these parts is all the the aluminum parts um, went down really nice as usual the Vallejo um, primers uh, are just a real pleasure to, to put down they just um, go you know just really nice uh, flowing and uh, and they always smell so good <laughs> weird but true um, Anyway, so those uh, look really good, um, and uh, I'll uh, let those dry up. Um, that 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 primer does. Uh, they do uh, do that. You uh, ask to spend a fair bit of time there. I think uh, twelve hours or something. So anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll definitely wasn't going to work on these tonight, um, but uh, tomorrow night we might um, do a potentially do a bit of um, some aluminum coloring on here. 